Hi, my name is Grant, and today I want to talk about high-resolution step motor technology. I want to talk about the overall theory behind it and how it works, and also uh, discuss what it can bring to you in your application. So the basic construction of a stepping motor, as most of you are aware of, is we have two uh, bearing blocks with a set of ball bearings and a rotor and a stator. Now that rotor is a permanent magnet type rotor, um, and we have windings located on the outermost part of the uh, motor on the stator. Uh, it's a fairly simple design. It's obviously a, a brushless DC type design, but obviously we can see that we have laminations in physical teeth so that the, when the wind or the phase sequence is activated, the motor physically takes a step. Now the typical system layout of a, a stepping motor system is traditionally a controller, a driver, and a motor. So obviously the controller is going to send a pulse and direction signal, usually 0 0.5 or 0 to 24 volts, to a driver. The driver then uh, interprets that data being sent and then activates a, a phase sequence on and off, typically an A, A bar, B, B bar type phase stepping sequence. And that's the, uh, the more traditional sense or, or of what is currently available out on the market. When looking at uh, what we at Orient's Motor have to offer, not only do we offer the traditional type uh, 1.8 degree stepping motor technology, but we also offer the 0.72 degree step motor technology. Um, it works very similar. However, there are some slight differences which do yield different characteristics. Taking a look at this diagram, we can see that we actually see five different sets of windings and also want to show you one of our units that we have here on the table with me to really point out those diff overall differences. So when we're dealing with a traditional 1.8 degree uh, step motor, when we're looking at the windings, obviously both, uh, between, both sets are going to have 100 teeth on the stator and then 50 teeth on the rotor. The difference is in the number of poles. On a two-phase stepping motor system, we have eight different poles. But however, when we look at this particular motor, we have ten poles if you count them all the way around. Now, because of that, we are going to see some different uh, physical characteristics and electrical characteristics. And uh, these differences uh, may, you can use to your advantage depending on the application that you have at hand. So again, when we're looking at this, we see that we have... 10 different poles and a 10 phase step sequence. Or excuse me, a 10 step sequence. So when we look at the physical wiring, when we look at a traditional a unipolar or bipolar type drive, we can see that the layout for this particular system is quite different. Uh, we add, if we're comparing it with a bipolar type uh, system, we can see that we do add an extra set of transistors. So we do have uh, the 10 transistors, and we have the uh, windings laid out in what we call, or what we refer to here as a pentagon wiring type scheme. Now, obviously, when these transistors are turned on in a specific order, we uh, will energize and uh, motion in the motor. And one thing to note about this particular system is that there are always four phases on at a time, as opposed to the 1.8 degree which is uh, two phase on. Now, by adding these extra two phases, um, it does yield a lot of performance uh, differences co when comparing the two. Um, and we're going to take a closer look at that in just a moment. So, like I said before, um, since we do have the 50 rotor teeth, uh, that did, does give us a 7.2 degree uh, pitch between the teeth. However, because there are 10 poles, that yields a 0.72 degree step angle. So the motor, the motor turns one-tenth of a tooth pitch per sequence. So right, off, right automatically we have a lower step angle, uh, mechanical as opposed to electrical. Um, so when looking at the one thing I wanted to point out before we go any further here, uh, just to point out the difference between resolution and accuracy. Now obviously resolution is the basic uh, step angle of which a motor is going to take um, when not micro-stepping. So resolution is just referring to the uh, amount of turn per motor step. Now, when we talk about accuracy, accuracy has more to do with the physical machining of the motor and the electrical error that's involved with the driver. Um, and, and, and that's more to do with like a, re, re, a repeatability type specification. 
So uh, we do give a three arc minute accuracy rating for the majority of our stepping motors that we offer. Um, and just wanted to point that out so you do understand the difference. But when we look at a comparison of a 500 degree per step which, or 0.72 degree uh, per step motor versus the 200 step per rev, uh, we can see that there is a pretty big vibration difference when we're looking at uh, the, the speed range of 0 to 4 kilohertz. So down at the lower end, we can see that, yeah, there is some vibration, but overall there's not, especially when compared to the 200 step. Um, and again, this is uh, another side-by-side -side comparison, and this has pretty much everything to do with what we call resonance. Resonance is a frequency range when you run the motor where it's going to vibrate more than it would at other ranges. Um, the reason why there are there is resonance to go into it more more detail is of a torque ripple. Now what a torque ripple is going to do is cause a slight overshooting and undershooting as far as the amount of degrees that it, the motor is theoretically taking versus what it's actually taking. Now an average torque ripple on a 200 degree per step motor or a 200 step motor is about 29 percent. When we take a look at the 500 uh, pulse per, per rev type motor, it's about 5%. So there is quite a difference. Uh, now, what is that going to mean for you as the user? Less overshooting. The reason why there's a lower torque ripple is because the motor is not overshooting as much. So when it's uh, stepping and moving 0.72 degrees per step, it's actually going to be pretty close to, to that uh, spec given as opposed to the overshooting that you might get from the 1.8 degree. Also, Another thing that to point out is because it does have a lower step angle, if we are doing things like micro-stepping, it could, could potentially give you a, a, a more accurate type micro-stepping because it's already at a lower step angle and uh, it would give overall less error when comparing the two. Um, in general, if you were to, um, excuse me, if you were to, uh, look at things to reduce your, your resonance, um, th some of the things you can do is obviously micro-stepping, um, use a smaller step angle motor, um, use a damper, um, and then again, pointing out, try to use a smaller step angle motor, and that's really going to uh, help you overcome the resonance problem. So in general, um, moving on in the series, we want to talk about the RK, the CRK, and the CRK Plus uh, step motor systems and what they have to offer you as a user. If you're looking for a high accuracy, high response, low settling time type motor, um, then you definitely want to take a look and see what these packages have to offer for you and your application. In the future, if you do have any questions or would like to talk about any applications at any time, feel free to give us a call at 1-800-GO-VEXTA or uh, go to our website, www.orientalmotor.com, and you'll be able to find a lot of answers there as well. Again, my name is Grant, and uh, thank you for watching today.